In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to connect your QNAP NAS to your Windows Active Directory. Active Directory enables an administrator to manage users and connect them to multiple NAS servers with the same username and password. When a NAS is added to an Active Directory, all of the users on the directory are imported to the NAS. Begin by clicking on the main menu, and then select Control Panel. Under Control Panel, in the Privilege section, click Domain Security. And now select Active Directory Authentication and click Quick Configuration Wizard. And click Next. Here you're going to input the full DNS domain name, the NetBIOS domain name, and the DNS server IP address. If you don't know the DNS domain name, you can go into the Windows Server and open the Server Manager click on local server and then towards the top uh, you'll see where it says domain and next to it is the domain name so it's going to be qnap.local and I'm just going to input qnap.local and then I'm going to put in NetBIOS domain name if you don't have your NetBIOS domain name you can see it on your Windows Server login page and then next you need the IP address for the DNS IP server and it must be the DNS server of your Active Directory. If you don't have your IP address you can go into your Windows Server and open your command prompt and simply type in ipconfig and press enter. And you'll see the IPv4 address is the one you want. And that's going to be 10.15.18.249, which is what I have input. And click Next. Here, we're going to select the domain controller. So double click. And then input the domain administrator username and domain administrator password. and click join. And the NAS has joined the domain successfully. Now that we have connected the QNAP NAS to the Windows Active Directory, let's take a look at the users on the Active Directory and set some permissions. So go click on users, and then instead of local users, we'll select domain users. And here we're gonna be able to see all the users from Active Directory. Let's try giving them some permissions on a shared folder. So we can go to shared folders and then select a shared folder. I'm just going to click on the icon to edit the permissions. You'll see two users on here. I'm going to add another user, change local users to domain users to see the users from Active Directory. And now I'm going to select one and select what permissions I want for them. I'll select read write and then add it to that folder and click apply. With your NAS connected to Active Directory, you can now log in to the NAS with the domain users. On the login screen, Enter the you can enter the username of the AD user you want and input the Active Directory password. Connecting your NAS to Active Directory enables you to give Active Directory users access to multiple NASs with the same account. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos to better utilize your QNAP NAS. Thanks for watching.